push this full time? Like, See, what was, was going on? When I left school when I was 16, I wanted to travel. I knew that. And when I left school, I knew that's what I wanted to do. So I said to my mom, I want to travel. What do I do? It was like, oh, you know, go work at your stepdad's company. Lucky enough in the family, there is a family business. And my, my mom was like, oh, go do that. You know, you don't need to go to uni. You don't need to do anything. You're set for life. Great. And I was like, oh, okay, then bloody hell. I'll just work at the company, save and, you know, travel. Because that's the goal I had at the time. Worked there for a year and a half. Used that money that I made, well, basically a year. Used that money to travel for a year and I'd done it. And then I got back from traveling and I was like, now what do I do? Like, I didn't go to uni. I'm, I don't want to go work back at my seller's company. And realistically, I didn't have a motive. Like, I, I was just going to the gym, spending time with friends. I did think about uni. I thought about going into architecture as, like, something that I would, like, create my future on because I love designing, I love art, um, I love the aspect of that, I was good at math and science in school, so I was like, you know, why not? But then, like I said, the whole social media thing came along accidentally, just fell into that. But as an 18 year old, watching my friends go out and drinking and doing all the things they probably shouldn't have been doing, didn't appeal to me. I don't know, I was so, I was so like automatically driven and I found this thing that I started to fall in love with and I couldn't see past that. It was like tunnel vision, I was like, I knew what I wanted to do, I knew this thing was like creating so much life for me, so much happiness, so much like fulfillment that I saw what they were doing. And I was like, it didn't appeal to me. I knew what I wanted to do. Oh, here's this newfound fame given to this guy. Like, no, it definitely didn't happen like that. Um, I was fighting for 100 views, 50 views. I was happy with like 10 likes on my videos. I'd even like my own videos because it looked like I had more likes. Um, I think everyone's done that. Yeah, <laughs> at the beginning. And it was like that for the first six months to a year. But that that's not what motivated me. I love the idea of having, having an excuse to get out of bed in the morning to do something, to have this like fire, this meaning. It gave you purpose because you was not living for other people. I didn't start social media to like live for other people and to get views and to get likes and to get, because that realistically didn't bother me. It was just the idea of recreating the travel experience that I had when I was 17 in just immersing myself into life. I truly believe that when someone does something and they do it consistently and they, they know that they're gonna do it for the rest of their life or they could imagine doing it for the rest of their life, it's not enough to just wanna live someone else's life. It's not enough to watch someone else and see their success and be like, I wanna do that because there's jealous people and there's envious people, two different kinds of people. If you're jealous, you hate on that person for the success they've got. If you're envious, you're like, oh man, how did he get that? You're more interested. But even that's not enough to be motivated to do something for life. Motivation is one thing, inspiration is different. Motivation lasts five minutes, inspiration, you are inspired, but you can only inspire yourself. What you look at, when you, when you look at yourself in the mirror in the morning, what do you see? What future do you see for yourself? What do you actually want for yourself more than what your mom may want for you or what your friends want for you? What do you want for you? Because what anyone can want for you may be enough to motivate you, but not to inspire you. You can only inspire yourself, I believe. So when someone, tries like looks at a life and they're like oh i want to live that that's not their passion what their passion is what they fall asleep thinking about at night what they wake up what is their first thoughts i believe that is something that can motivate someone to do it every single day to love it even even when it gets hard when you're awake at five o'clock in the morning going for the grueling section like the grueling part of editing you can only do that if you love it if you if you know and you realize that is what you wholeheartedly enjoy you know, and I feel like, you know, you can only create that persona for yourself. Which is something that I feel like everyone gets. You have to just fight past it. Almost believe in yourself, because if you don't believe in yourself, no one's going to believe in you. If you genuinely don't think my content's not good enough, there's a good chance that there might be someone out there that can see through the cracks. People I have found are attracted to confidence. Not cocky confidence, but, you know, they're aware of themselves and they, they look like they're enjoying what they're doing. When you are confident, you enjoy what you're doing more. So... I'm not talking about making prosthetic confidence, just to believe in yourself just a bit more because, like I said, the stuff that you're creating, you might think it's not, might not be good, but other people might. So just believe in yourself. Like, that's as cliche as it sounds, like, it really does mean something to, like, believe in your product. Because if you, if you believe in it, other people will believe in it. What do you eat? What do you do in the day? What time do you sleep? How much do you sleep? Like, little things and be natural be like yourself be like record the weird things that you do in front of the bathroom in the mirror in the morning when you're brushing your teeth like what do you do you're kind of weird i said to record that stuff 